Good morning, folks of Climate Extremes. Distant cousin here is the sea surface anomaly. This might seem counterintuitive, but the ocean has a non-homogeneous surface level. Blue is sea level rise, and brown areas actually show lower surface height than normal. Back to the extreme temperature swings, this here is the full 2012 year, above and below average. Notice the heat in the lower 48 and the cold in China. I've spent a good deal of 2013 dissecting the records we've set this year and in the United States we've swung cold into the lead by a large margin, precipitation trouncing both of them by the way. There's no doubt that the Arctic ice is disappearing in record fashion, but as most of that subsurface melt, the extreme swings have hit here too and this is one of the coldest and shortest summers in many years for the Arctic. Remember that cold in China? Well now we see dozens dying from heat. Europe isn't immune to that either, their 2011 winter was brutal, but are seeing super heat waves now, while India adds flash flooding and killer hail to Europe's same story. The rainfall associated with the Central Pacific storms headed for Hawaii here. Henriette is a hurricane, but now is actually likely to miss south of the islands as we expected with Gil. It's still a chance and Hawaii should be wary. Poor Vietnam. It's the second one of these they've taken in 10 days. Their nation is ripe for landslides and flash flooding. Perth welcoming a storm while Sydney sends one off. Rain moving from the South Island to Central New Zealand by tomorrow. Convergence line in Europe is plainly noted. The storms and rain follow this line with the heat waves still cooking east of it. Bit more precipitation on the coastline today. Meanwhile, 100 mile per hour microbursts and tornadic cells that dropped last night in the central states will extend east and south as the convergence of southern and northern air masses play their favorite game tonight at sunset. Solar flaring is nil. The only established spot of significance is down south. Got beta polarity, just needs to regroup. Meanwhile, the new sunspots on the southeastern limb appear developed and longitudinally in tandem. The magnetic connections to our star are still spread. But now the subconnectivity is leading down the coronal hole directly facing Earth today. You see how that umbral gap between blue fields open way up down south. Actually got another little opening up to the north, but frankly, I don't see a coronal hole up there just down south as an extension of that darker hole on the equator. We have seen our first six pointer in days and days. USGS actually says it's a 5.9, but it's still the biggest in over a week. Quake Watch score today is down to 6, but I don't think it'll get a chance to go much lower. This is Stereo B, showing what Earth will see over the next two weeks, and that is a diabolical looking set of coronal holes. Helio Viewer is back and cranking, so shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.50 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.